Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do a scatter plot. Now, in order to draw a scatter plot, you must understand that when they give you information, the first line would be your x and the second line would be a y. You need to know how to draw a scatter plot in grade 11 because most of the information or the syllabus coverage in grade 12 revolves around scatter plot. Now, if I'm telling you that the first row is usually X and the second row is usually Y, unless they tell you differently, that is how you accept it. So we know that this is going to be our age and this year is going to be our height. Now, what do we plot first? 6 and 118. 6 and 118. So we're looking in between here and we're looking at 6 and it's a dot. Then we have 7 and 122. So we have 7 and 122. Then we have 8 and 132. So we have 8 and 132. 9 and 135. 11 and 158. 12 and 148. 14 and 158. 15 and 161. 18 and 170. 170. Now if you look at this data, you would see that it is basically creating a straight line. So usually in equations like this they'll ask you what kind of function is it creating? Then you'd say okay it's creating a straight line graph. Sometimes the information can be slightly different. Sometimes you'll see there'll be a dot here and here. And then you'll see you know it's actually creating a parabola or you get different graphs and you'll see it's creating like an exponential graph or it could be a straight line like the one we've just done so with scatter plot you get different graphs but the information is usually given to you. How do I know it's a straight line or parabola? If you can see, this line tends to be going straight. In grade 12, you would actually learn how to create the equation and then you'd learn from there. If you look, I would have also said that the graph tends to go straight this way also. But nonetheless, we're still having a straight line graph. If you look at this graph, a lot of them are scattered around this point and a lot of them are scattered around this point. However, this one seems to be an odd one. It seems to be like out, not like the norm. As you can see, all the children are increasing in height as the ages are going up. But this one seems to like went way off. So they would call those ones outliners sometimes or they will tell you there's one data that's not in the norm. And then that would be an outliner. And from your previous work, you'd know that outliners, usually if they are high outliners, like this one went up, then it would increase our average. If I had an outliner around here, let's say I went here, then it's a low, it's, it's dropping, so it would decrease my average. So usually, even in scatter plots, you can see the outliners because later when you learn how to draw the graphs inside, you'd clearly see what is an outliner. Thank you for watching.